chat. It's Cole here, and it's Wednesday. I do apologize for getting my video up uh, a little bit later than normal today. I have uh, not been feeling well. I have had a pretty terrible migraine all day, so I'm probably going to make this video fairly brief. Um, I do have a class in a little bit, um, but I really wanted to get it in. I liked this topic, um, although a lot of what I have to say has already been said, so again, probably a shorter video than normal today. Uh, the topic at hand is how being genderqueer has affected you um, in ways in which um, causing you to miss out on things in your life or opportunities being gained um, by being genderqueer. Um, well, you know, I don't feel like there's too much that I've really missed out on um, in regards to being genderqueer. I guess the most prevalent in my life has been uh, close relationships with my family um, and that actually started uh, when I started dating um, female bodied people um, not necessarily when I came in as genderqueer um, but I know that it's really difficult for um, some of my especially extended family to um, understand um, my gender presentation uh, and why that's important to me um, and, and I'm sure as everyone else on the channel can say will say um, it's you really can't be close to someone that doesn't want to understand you or has no idea um, how to relate to you at all um, so I know for instance talking to my um, family about pronouns, you know, possible pronoun changes, such as using gender neutral pronouns. It's just something that's not going to happen. There's no dialogue about that. Um, I have to pretty much censor myself most all the time. Um, I have to say that my mom has gotten better about all of this and, and really has, has been sweet to me um, lately about my gender identity and we've talked about it, which has been awesome. Um, not that she understands it, but she, I think, sees that it's something that has always been there. So I think in her case, you know, thankfully we've been able to, to have a relationship again after my coming out as genderqueer. Um, but other people in my family, my, my father and, and extended family, they're not. We just can't have a... Um, substantial relationship or one that I feel um, has a whole lot of depth which is what I want from my relationships with people in general um, because um, I just don't feel like we connect I don't feel that I'm respected um, as who I want to be and who I am um, and then also I was going to, to say another thing I've missed out on is something that Ricky and Matt um, both touched on, um, which is not having uh, or having a hard time connecting with um, binary um, cis people. Um, for me, um, mainly this has been um, cisgendered uh, males. Um, I think some of this comes from my own shit, my own shit, <laughs> uh, such as feeling um, jealous of cisgendered men, not only because of um, their bodies and the uh, things of that nature, but also um, because of their place in society. Um, it, it's difficult um, for them to relate to me and to see me um, in any other way other than um, a female bodied um, you know, lesbian. Um, and I really connected with what Ricky said yesterday about. You know, it's so cool that you can hang out with us. You're like one of the guys, but you know, you're not. It's like, wow, you know, thank you for devaluing me. So I totally understand, but I don't want to repeat too much of what they said. Um, but that is another thing that I've also encountered um, is that I, I it, sometimes it's hard for me to have um, close um, cisgender um, male friends. Um, and I have had um, a couple, I have a couple of really close um, cisgender male friends but they're kind of what Matt described in, in their video, um, sensitive, maybe more, a little more in touch with their emotions than the typical cis or cis men. Um, so I guess those are the things that I um, have missed out on, just a closer connection with my family and also um, cis male friends. Um, 
what I've gained, I think, from from being genderqueer is the opportunity to be open-minded. Um, I don't think that if I would wouldn't have um, deconstructed my own gender uh, in this fashion that I have done. Um, I, I don't think that I would that my mind would be as open to a whole in many other areas. Um, I have gained the opportunity to not only be educated about gender, um, but also the opportunity to educate, which I love. And in general, um, I feel that being genderqueer has helped me overcome a lot of fear and anxiety about the world around me and how I interact with that, um, with the world, because I just feel like now I can definitely exist um, in the world in a more comfortable way um, because of um, being comfortable with, with who I am um, gender-wise. Um, I've also gained the opportunity to sort of live in this gray area of gender um, and that frees me in a, in a real, on a really deep emotional level um, because I, I've always been the kind of person that sees things in, in, in sort of grays as opposed to black and white thinking. So I think that being gender queer just reinforces um, the way that I already view the world. Um, and as far as um, anything else goes, I think that's about all I have for this week for this topic. Um, but um, I will be back around next week, and I hope to see you guys then. All right, have a great Wednesday.